Now, President Trump continues his attacks against Representative Elhan Omar uh, and is also spreading information, uh, misinformation, despite her noting an increase uh, in death threats from his followers. So now uh, Elhan Omar, of course, uh, is the first, not the first, uh, but she is a Muslim uh, member of Congress, uh, and she is getting a lot of death threats, been getting a lot of heat from right-wing media over some uh, things that were, I guess they had problems with their saying, uh, and we'll get into that, of course, but in an interview with KSTP-TV in Minneapolis, Donald Trump, the president, was asked if he had any second thoughts about his attacks against Ilhan Omar, uh, specifically posting a video to Twitter that basically put in some quotes from the congresswoman with images of 9-11. So it's a very dishonest editing tactic they use uh, to try to make her look terrible. Now, his response was, quote, No, not at all. Look, she's been very disrespectful to this country, and she's been very disrespectful to Israel. She is somebody who doesn't really understand life, real life, what it's all about. Wait, what? I don't understand life. You're saying you understand life? More? You were given hundreds of millions of dollars in inheritance money, and you blew it. All. <laughs> Look, you crashed casinos into the ground. You've never lived a day uh, in the life of someone. And to say that you know more about life than as someone who grew up as a refugee, fleeing war and violence, came to America, and then worked her way up to be a congresswoman. BS, man. BS. Talk about disrespectful, right? Does he even understand words? Do they understand that there's a meaning to these words? No, of course not. Uh, now, she, he continues to attack her. Quote, it's unfortunate she's got a way about her that is very, very bad. I think for our country, I think she is extremely unpatriotic and extremely disrespectful to our country. Now, I've got two guesses to why he thinks she's very, very bad for the country. The fact that she openly wears a hijab or, or, or as uh, uh, <laughs> Janine Pirro, thank you, as Janine Pirro would always say, the hijab. <laughs> Her voice is like nails on a chalkboard, man. Uh, and of course, the fact that she is a young woman of color. And so he looks at that and says, ooh, very, very bad for America. Very bad. Very bad. And very bad for our country. And extremely unpatriotic. No, in reality, she's incredibly patriotic. Again, refugee who came to this country felt the call to surge, or I'm sorry, serve in government. She felt the call to serve uh, and fight for civil rights. That is the most American thing that you can do. Heed the call, serve, serve the public, fight for civil rights. She is way more American than Donald Trump. And, and her statements, the one that the right wing has been all after, they've been tacked as uh, horrible and anti-American and whatever, uh, happened at a fundraiser for the Council on American Islamic Re Relations. You know what she said? Quote, she said the organization, quote, was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. Now, apparently, since she didn't say, oh, 9-11 is the worst thing that happened to us in the entire world, uh, and look, I'm not minimizing it. It was an incredibly horrible attack. But just the fact that I have to go and say that just shows how some people can use that against you when you don't uh, continuously say, but it was horrible, it was horrible, it was horrible. Yes, we understand it's horrible. We know. Why do we have to continue to qualify that? And so, but look, even I ended up having to do that. And so now for me, look, it can be forgiven because I'm a white guy, right? But you have a Muslim who wears the hijab. And, uh, you know, is, uh, is a woman of color. Oof. She says that, and then she's going to have death threats against her, and that's exactly what's happened. And so she's right, though. Some people did something. Uh, that's what everybody's talking about. Yes, it's true. They did do something. It was horrible. Her perspective, though, was, look, I I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim-American, 
And after that happened, that terrible thing that we had nothing to do with, people went after us and tried to, to, tried to come after our civil liberties. They attacked us for no reason. Now, look, Muslims, Muslims died on 9-11. You know what? People died inside the Twin Towers that were also Muslim. You know, these people were forgotten. But I've, I've got some names for you. Uh, Shabir Ahmed, who worked at one of the restaurants, The Windows in the World. Tariq Amanullah, fiduciary trust company. That's what he worked for. That was inside the... All these places, uh, jobs were inside the Twin Towers when they were hit. Michael Bosch, Martian McLennan, Tori Hamzavi Balorchi, 69, a retired nurse on United Flight 175. Abdul K. Chaudhuri, Kantar Fitzgerald, Mohammed Salahuddin Chaudhuri, Windows on the World Restaurant, Jamal Lagasi DeSantis, World Trade Center, Simon Suleiman Ali Kasamali Dahani, 63, Aon Corp, Syed Abdul Fatah, 54, Pitney Bowes, Man uh, Jambalaj, uh, Man Jambalaj, he was a janitor at the World Trade Center. All of these people that I'm reading off were victims in 9-11. And many of their families were victimized again by the anti-Muslim sentiment stoked by the right wing. And Muslim Americans, unfortunately, they continue to be victimized. Omar is just the most public face of this, right? Because she has been openly smeared by the right wing as not caring about 9-11, about... Uh, or about terrorism. And again, she's being attacked for every single statement. It's disgusting. Now, she released a statement on Sunday evening talking about this Trump video uh, that has increased the amount of death threats coming her way. Quote, since the president's treat, tweet Friday evening, I've experienced an increase in direct threats in my life, many directly referencing or replying to the president's video. I think the Capitol Police, the FBI the House Sergeant at Arms and the Speaker of the House for their attention to these threats. And yet, here you have the President having no apologies and continuing to demonize her as un-American and stoking the fires of hatred. This is dangerous. It's going to get someone hurt. Somebody already attempted uh, to you know, have an attempt on Omar's life uh, that were busted by Capitol Police. Um, either that or it was in New York. It's been a lot of terrorist attacks here in America. And guess what? None of them are from Muslims. They're all from the extreme right wing. And President Trump continues to fuel that, fuel those attacks, to fuel that hatred and division. Uh, and, and he's not sorry about it. That's who Trump is. He's a monstrous person. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.